All right, guys, it is here. We got our eBay item. This is the other coin. All right, the grab bag lot or a state lot or whatever. Um, this was a dollar more than the other coin and it was guaranteed to be silver. So I'm really curious to see what we got. This time I saved it directly from the package so we can open it together. Today's little DC is the um, Bob Dozier um, Designs Mini Dozier from uh, K Bar. This one is in that very, uh, very bright green. So, get right, right into this. Let's see what we got. It's a coin. We need this again. Oh, and we got more gold. Ooh, it's a quarter. That's a <laughs> oh quarter from. Well, let's just open the thing. I'm trying to look at it through the. The bubble wrap. Let's, let's weasel out this tube of gold. Oh boy. More gold. It is fun. It is cool. It's nice that I have two because I have a niece and a nephew. So like I said, when they get just a little bit older and understand that kind of stuff, those will be theirs. So, we have a state quarter from Iowa. Alright, cool. Well, you know what? I might just have to start collecting quarters from all the states now. <laughs> but anyway, so state quarter from Iowa. All right. <clears throat> all right, so I opened up the uh, app here. I can figure this out together. Look at this coin. All right, so it says 2004S is the mint mark, which is correct, 25 cents. Iowa silver, United States of America, PR69 decam, same thing, that deep cameo. Which I guess is the contrast between the two different, you know, finishes. <clears throat> um, so it looks like there was 10,447 of these exact coins in existence. With 1,104 being a higher grade. So those being the uh, PR70. So yeah, pretty interesting. It shows the uh, value is 20 bucks, the same as the other coin. I'm not really sure... You know, if this is, obviously it's commemorative because there's no silver state quarters that were out in circulation. Uh, I'm just curious if this is silver clad or solid silver. But pretty interesting. I'm going to have to, again, look into this a little bit more. This is about it. I'm not going to keep doing videos on grab bag stuff. I was curious the first time and I thought, hmm, I definitely want a silver coin. So this is what I got the, the second time. But that's about it <laughs> for now. Uh, if I buy, you know, graded coins like this in the future, I'll probably buy exactly what I want uh, just to add to my collection. But yeah, let's get another quick look at this before we go. Pretty, pretty cool. Uh, looking at this, the front, I do not see, let's go even closer, I do not see any, any imperfections on the front. Maybe a very, very light scratch over here. It's hard to tell sometimes because obviously the case itself scratches. Let's look at the reverse. Uh, looks like there's a very light scratch right here in between the one on 1846 and that cupola so yeah all right well that's what i got i got a uh, silver quarter i just don't know exactly what that means so <laughs> i have to see I, part of me kind of thinks it's silver clad but i don't really know i'll have to investigate a little bit further so that's all for now thanks for watching guys hope you have a wonderful day and let me know in the comment sections if you just collect coins. It could be anything. It could be just be loose coins you, you liked maybe certain years. I know people, especially when I was younger, you'd save like a quarter from your birth year because that's kind of cool. Uh, or only on the other side of the spectrum, you have like, you know, a thousand coins that are worth a lot of money. Um, do you collect coins? That's the question. So I guess now I collect coins, not just silver, but just in general. I do happen to have uh, coins from all around the world, too, which are pretty interesting. Occasionally, people, when they send packages, they'll, they'll throw in a coin or something. So I really think it's nice. So I am a coin collector. I do have, like, random coins, too, that I think are cool, like Susan B. Anthony's. I have uh, Eisenhower dollars randomly that have no silver. I have some Kennedy halves that have no silver. Um, you know, I have a bunch of wheat pennies, you know, things like that. So essentially, I have been a coin collector all this time. <laughs> so anyway... That's all. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. You will see a review on this in the future. The Mini Dozier from uh, K-Bar. Classic little lockback. I love the original. This is just the, the smaller version of it. So, 
you know, eventually, like I said, you'll see a, a video on that. Hopefully you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.